Back, everybody. Our, our brief uh, forays into bluegrass and old time music have gone down really well, and we have a, a whole festival, the Crossover Festival, just a nearby Cheshire that's uh, dedicated to that uh, style of music. And these guys have played both years so far. I saw them at the Maverick Festival and Cambridge Folk Festival. They absolutely wondered. First visit to Biddulph, give them a big hand. Hot Rock Pilgrims! <laughs> Big old man from Sinatone. 
doing folks you all right good to see so many of you here thank you very very much for coming out we are the hot rock pilgrims and a big round of applause for dawson and dean they're really fantastic really fantastic Lovely. we're uh we're on a little tour at the moment uh i originally was uh putting some names of places on the on our website and uh I thought we were actually going to Scotland for most of the tour. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then on Friday night, I was soon told that Northumberland is definitely not in Scotland. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we did actually get to Scotland in the end, but uh, not as much as I thought we would. Anyways, <laughs> we're, this is the, uh, the middle of the tour so far. Uh, we just came from Leeds last night, and uh, we had a lovely little, lovely little session up there. So uh, anyways, we're looking forward to the night. This is... Uh, this is uh, one, of the, one of the title tracks of our album, and uh, this is called Squirrel Hunters. Thank you. 
you very much, folks. That's one of our new, well, I can't say new album now, it's a year old. Uh, that's one of our album, and uh, <laughs> that's called Squirrel Hunters. And uh, this one, this next one we're going to do is an old one. We're going to do all the new, or new and old, I should say. This one is a uh, song that Dan wrote and, uh, a few years ago, and this is, uh, this is the title track of our very first CD we ever made together. This is called Among the Peaks. band of ours, huge inspirations for us, and uh, 
I remember one of the very first gigs we ever did was in a little place in London called the Ritzy. Uh, this is about maybe four, four or five years ago. And uh, we were looking for kind of things to kind of, I was putting on different bands there. And uh, once a month, similar to this. And I said something for, for a bit of fun, we'd try and just dedicate one night to a band. And it'd be a band called Hot Rise. And then we realised then that we actually needed a name for the band. So we didn't ask, the Hot Rocks hadn't actually formed officially yet at the stage. And uh, so we came up with the name, the Hot Rock Pilgrims, and we played bluegrass music, or should I say just Hot Rise music. Which is an amazing band from the, UK, from the US. Uh, so if you ever want to check out this band called Hot Rise, definitely check them out. We probably spent the first year only playing their material. <laughs> I think about 50% of our step set probably still, still is, is. <laughs> Hot Rise material, yeah. We have to be very careful sometimes we realise just, we're just playing a tribute band to Hot Rise. <laughs> that is. Good? Oh 
Next one. And you fans of Daryl Scott? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was a very firm yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> so this is a song that everyone thinks that Daryl Scott actually wrote. We did a, a songwriter in a treat uh, about maybe two years ago in Ireland. Actually, it was only actually last year, actually. And uh, this is a song that he was playing. And I never realized that it was actually his dad that wrote it. And this is called It Ain't Love, It Ain't Money, It's the Whiskey That Is The Pain. Generally in tune. <laughs> Hubert bought a new battery for his tuner today, so he's... It's really on It's really <laughs> enjoying <laughs> using yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. 
time we were moving we were uh, chatting with one of the lads a uh, little interview before this and uh, one of the things he was saying he was like bluegrass all time appellation what is it all and god knows uh, <laughs> we're getting we were getting to give it too much detail so we'll just play it this is uh kieran towers and dan edwards banjo fiddle i think they secretly call themselves the truckers when no one's looking <laughs> and uh Kieran hasn't got his cap on. Oh, he hasn't got his cap on, yeah. Didn't bring my truck with me either. <laughs> yeah, really. This is a song called Richmond. All time shame. Yeah, so me and Dan play together as an informal duo called the Fit Band Truckers. And we wear trucker hats. We sing stupid songs about trucking. Cover, cover the stage in diesel. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the show, we set light to it and just die along with it. This is Jingle Richmond.
the towels on the field. The fifth band truckers.
course, folks. We're going to take a little break after this song. Uh, we're going to be down to the back saying loads of people, and uh, we have a few CDs there, a few bumper stickers, uh, life-changing stuff, all that sort of thing. And uh, have you enjoyed yourselves so far? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank God for that. Uh, this is live, folks. We're doing two sets, so if you want to swear, you can do it in the second set. <laughs> Uh, thank you very, very much. It's been good fun so far. And uh, this last one is one of our CD, and it's called Liza Jane. See you in about 15 minutes. Cheers. Well, it's all going fine so far, isn't it? And we've been joined by uh, some ladies. Hello, ladies. Good evening. How are you doing? Would you like to introduce yourselves? I'm Speak, you have to speak into the mic. Julie, oh, you, sh you should have a mic down there somewhere, but uh, it's got it's got lost. Oh God. It's got lost. Share you Don't worry, it's it's there somewhere. We can share. Yeah. A sa Sam here, he'll sort it out in a minute. But you yes, could I'm you could you could share one. It's, it's all very technical. Oh, I've lost your leaflet too. And I've given it I've given the game away. So Excuse introduce you yourself. I'm Eleanor. Julie. Julie. Well, hello. Hey, Julie. Hello. Emily, hello. Eleanor, Julie. Um, you're going to tell us all about a festival that's been going for a couple of years now and it's going again next May, is that right? Yeah, Do you want that so you can right. remind you of what's on? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you forget. Yeah, Go we've been uh, running a, um, a bluegrass and old time festival um, for, this is our third year coming up and it started because we've uh, been going to festivals for about... 20, 20 plus 20 years. years between us. I oh, think. really? Yeah, so you're, um, not, you're not new to this. Then. No novice no. to it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, some festivals have been going, uh, some of them have been cancelled recently, and 
we love the music that much, we didn't want to see it. So you do your own festival. So and we brought it own. further north, because everywhere we go yeah. seems to be in the Ooh. south. So oh, really? Thought, yeah. yeah. So up bringing north. it further up Good. towards Lift. the... <laughs> the uh, <laughs> We're sick of going down the motorway. Hells be the heart of bluegrass. Hells be the heart of... You get yes, that's right. Right. <laughs> So why is it called Crossover? Uh, we are all the Cross family. And, oh, mum, um, two daughters. <laughs> yeah, You're the over a... family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mum, um, uh, and crossover yeah. is because we mix styles as much as possible. We started off mixing bluegrass and all time. Yeah. And maybe in the future we'll mix other styles, but uh, we'll we'll see about that. So so far. So we're, we're not a purist festival. We're very co- okay. quite contemporary. Yeah. And uh, a lot of young crowd coming in now, which is nice because uh, bluegrass and old time has been conventionally known as a yeah. an old, older older man's. <laughs> if you haven't got a grey beard and ladies, banjo, yes. you know. Whereas now you can see the younger element coming through an awful well, lot. I mean, they're, they're they're not too old, are they? That <laughs> band that have just been on the hot rock program. It's, uh, quite it's very young. modern and quite contemporary, and we've got a lovely venue, which is Clonter Opera. Um, so if you've not been Clunter there, Opera, where is that? Congleton. Congleton, which is in Cheshire, Cheshire yeah. in England Cheshire, again. You see, yeah. along with yes. in England. It's, uh, if you're looking for a quirky venue, it's a farm site, and the big barn has been converted into a 400-seater theatre. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It, and with lots of rooms and camping and... 400-seater. Uh, 400 right. seater proper opera theatre. And we're hoping to fill it. So. Wow. Good, see, yeah. hope you've, you've done two already. Haven't we you? have done two. And did and, you fill it? Um, it's been very close. Very close. Mm, yeah. We yeah. we could do with a few more just to yeah. top it up. Yeah. But the tickets are on sale now, and they are selling already. Where can already. You, uh, so where can you get tickets from? Online from our website, which, which is, is crossoverfest.com. <laughs> Did you get that? Well, say it again. Go and it's say on it one the more leaflets, time. but we've got Facebook groups, Facebook pages. Twitter, you name it, Instagram. Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, every social media platform. (laughs) The work. So the thing to remember is Crossover Festival. That's all you need to know. Yeah. And then you... Um, And the nice thing about it is it's not just about performance. It's about being totally interactive. So we have tuition in every instrument. We have dance workshops. We have on-site artists. Um, sketching and things like that. We've had instrument making. We've had children's workshops and children's. Well, everything. How to make a child? Is that <laughs> <laughs> well, the children have enjoyed their workshops. Stop it. Haven't they? <laughs> the comments. Um, so yeah, it's completely um, engaging. They're, everybody turns up with an instrument, and they all session everywhere. Everywhere there's a place to session, they will, they will session, won't they? So um, that's like jamming. Very much yeah. jamming, jamming, very much. Yeah. Um, every instrument come along and there'll be a workshop for you or you'll be welcome in it, all the sessions. So there's no instruments that are uh, Oh, no, no accordions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give well, us one. Ma- not mainly in the bluegrass trad- tradition, we keep to that sort of um, spectrum of instruments. Yeah. We are perhaps not so keen on maybe the drums. Ouch. Or the bagpipes. Sorry. Or bagpipes. <laughs> or accordions. Although we have had someone with the bagpipes waking us all up at a six o'clock alarm call really? around the field before now. So <laughs> Playing old Joe Park. He, he got the itch. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Gerdies. some... Herdies. Yeah. Herdies. I've known them at Folk Festival, so that's yeah. not too far away. Yes, um, I, I drowned one once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very so much in the bluegrass. <laughs> and we've got an excellent lineup this year as well. Um, well, we have an excellent lineup every year, but um, this particular year we've got um, two, three American bands b- be coming over. Breaking Grass are a, a ve- relatively new American band, and they're only coming over for our festival. Really? We're not going to see them anywhere else. Gosh. So they, exclusive to um, you. If you check out our Facebook page, there's a video of snippets of their music, so you can get a taster. And we've also got Ron Block, who's from Alison Krauss and Union Station, okay. the American band there. So Ron is the banjo player with Alison Krauss mm-hmm. and Union Station, but he's also the guitarist on Alison's new album. So. Right, okay. And Tony Furtado, who's a maestro in his own right on banjo. And guitar. Uh, and guitar. Yeah. So, yeah. And um, Ron and Tony are also doing masterclass workshops in their instrument, too. So anybody can go along to those, presumably yeah. with a banjo. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, go along, have a yeah. listen. Um, so what, what do you want to add to all that? And uh, we've also got, uh, included in the price, or camping is included and all that, too. So on it, top of price. all the bands that you see, 
and the workshops and the, the activities that are going on, you get camping as well. So it's an absolute bargain for a Fantastic. holiday weekend. <laughs> and that camping is all very close by, is it? All yes. Far away from the bagpipes, yeah. basically. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. 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 Well, you um, know, I was, it might have been a few yards away. <laughs> and we have a barn dance as well. We have a barn dance. Barn dance and a bar. What more could you want? Barn dance and a bar. <laughs> Appalachian workshops. What What the tickets currently on sale for 70, is it? It's a bargain. It's about yeah. so how many days is it? Three. Three uh, days. It's oh, Friday, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. People leave about five o'clock on the Monday. But yeah, they so arrive at the 10 a.m. on the Friday. And that will be the bank holiday. It's the bank, right. spring First bank, bank holiday. holiday in the in May. We have one yeah. in England. But in quirky of May. venue, yeah. bargain price, fantastic, and everything you could want. And of but course, there's food and drink. What's not? <laughs> well, what more could you want? <laughs> Brilliant. Got Are you going? <laughs> okay. I'll we'll have to uh, nope. check the dates. I'll have to check my calendar. <laughs> actually, no, I don't think I'm welcome. I'll play the drums. <laughs> That's a yes, so it's, uh, right? <laughs> I've told and where to go. We've also got uh, the Cheshire Brew House. They come and do the real ale bar for us. Good. Okay. So yeah. they got an yeah. advert in there. Stuck <laughs> <laughs> it without it's even realising. Yeah, make sure Subliminal. you don't do any more. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yeah. you very much for talking about yeah. it. Is there anything else you want to say before we uh, we uh, have to do some yeah. comments? Yeah. Really I think so. Yeah. yeah. No, I think we've covered everything, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to stay for the comments? We've got some great comments coming sure. in from. Uh, <laughs> But then people on the internet. Well, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, we've got a, a dot ed saying that they uh, they feel inspired to buy a banjo after watching the Hot Rock Pilgrims, but I'm afraid I'll be rejected by my friends and family. What should I do? Well, luckily, uh, I'm not going to answer that one, but get, somebody get else new, has uh, here. Somebody's answered it, haven't they? Yes, uh, <laughs> someone called uh, Pete has suggested ditching the family. I uh, don't quite know how that's going to go yeah, down. No, but then uh, on the other end of the uh, spectrum, we've got uh, Chris saying, marry the banjo. Well, Make the family uh, feel welcome. That's the thought. Yeah. Uh, very, very. I think there uh, must be some laws about open minded. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. You could do it if you took the budget to Vegas, either. Oh, you right, could yeah. Do it there, yeah. Could Whatever yeah. floats your boat, that's yeah. what I well, say. There's very yeah. funny people watching this today. Isn't I know there's some peculiar ones, isn't it? It carries on as well. Uh, Dotty D seems very active this evening, uh, saying perhaps Brian could borrow Banjo Dan's cap for the second <laughs> half. <laughs> and then uh, Brian has actually uh, responded with a, a cat would be welcome. My retinas are starting to melt. <laughs> he's not going to let it go, is he? No, but he's Brian. not. Yeah. Fair play. The banjo jokes should come in soon. There's usually <laughs> lots of banjo jokes. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. And, of course, we've got two members of the Hot Rock Pilgrims back on the list as oh, well. Oh, right. Which is the Hubert, Barry, Hubert Murray Band there. And That's Hubert from Ireland. Hubert That's right. Murray yes. Band. Yeah. So Hubert is coming in a different... The lead singer with Hot Rocks is yep. coming back under that. And we've got... Um, the Long Hill Ramblers. The Long Hill well. Ramblers, which is Dan with uh, Ben... Haley and Tab Hunter. That's down on the banjo. That's right. I yeah, think they're so doing an old time. Yeah. They're doing an old time set. And we've got the fabulous Midnight Sky Racers. I might as well plug them as well. Of Eleanor's um, just, she's suffering from jet lag at the moment. Oh, really? She's just yeah. got back from the IBMA Awards in North wow. Carolina. Gosh, and wow. their, their band were nominated for an award. Oh, wow. Um, so she's just been playing in front of the most terrifying thing ever. Fantastic. And, Congratulations. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So Midnight Sky Racer, of, of course, on the on the list as well. If you've not seen them, check them out. It's all happening. Any more comments? Have we got anything else, sir? Uh, Phil saying, top respect to Craig for yet another top band. So uh, I think that's Craig is the organiser. Well done, Craig. So he's, uh, yes, well Craig. done. Thank I you. I can hear them yeah, clapping Craig, now. Craig yeah. deserves a medal because he puts these gigs on every month, doesn't yeah. he? If not even more frequently than Sometimes that. Sometimes more frequently. You know, yeah, I, I mean, it's hard with the festival, but I can appreciate yeah. that promoting these yeah. gigs all the he's time. He's a star, isn't he? Very much so, yeah. Thank yeah. you. And he can't yeah. hear, so... You, know. you, can say, you can say anything you like, to be honest with you. <laughs> but let's be nice. Yeah. We'll probably edit this out, this bit. This, uh. I believe Midnight's Carriers are actually playing here in May, is that right? Or th possibly? Yeah, I think we've got a date booked. Don't quote me on the date, but it's in May at some point um, that we're coming here. So I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Got it. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Unfortunately, we've uh, not got any more comments at the moment, so no, I suggest you all get active. Keep coming in. We don't care what they're about or more, whether more it's rude jokes. or nice. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care at all. Banjo yeah, jokes I can see, read out. You know, banjo phobia when you come, you'll either be a convert or you'll be scared to death of banjos at the festival. Right. But Maybe um, a little column of A. Yeah. <laughs> I take it, obviously, you're a musician. You're all musicians, aren't you? Yes. I guess that somehow, yeah. So. Being musicians, you'll know about timing and stuff like that and doing stuff together as an ensemble. So I want the three of you now to say 
You can do it at rehearsed if you want. Uh, please subscribe. It's quite difficult, this. I find it very... Please subscribe to Fat Pigeon Live, OK? One, two, three. Please subscribe to Fat Pigeon Live. You heard and it here first. even rhyme. Okay. How about that? Oh, we do rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Harmonies. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. We're going to go and ask Craig whether the guys are ready for their second set. Are you looking forward to it? Okay, very, very much, much so. so, yeah. Good. And thank, lo love you to talk to you all. You Great. I'll see the band soon. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank, you guys. thank you very much. I'll have that off you. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. yeah. As, as I said, we're going to do quite a lot more of this uh, type of music. We've got Midnight Sky Racer. Eleanor at the back has just been talking to the folks at home online about the Crossover Festival and the wonderful award-winning Molly Tuttle, who's absolutely sensational, but not for a little while yet. But these, the, tonight belongs to these guys. Please welcome back Hot Rock Pilgrims.
welcome back. That's Mr. Sam Rose. Okay, we're going to get Mr. Dan Edwards to play some. Dan normally plays what we call a claw hammer banjo, all time banjo, frailing banjo, failing banjo, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Dan playing proper banjo and uh, monster banjo. Monster banjo. I, can, I can only afford the picks, I can't afford a real banjo yet. They normally, <laughs> with the picks, they normally have a back on quite expensive. So. He's looking for us to subsidise him and yeah. uh, he's trying to get a Hot Rock Pilgrim grant, which is uh, <laughs> not happening at the moment. <laughs> the real banjo is a bit too heavy for Dan to carry that all. <laughs> this is a. Uh, we were just chatting to one of the guys, uh, chatting to somebody out in the audience uh, at half time, and they were saying that, uh, oh, you're normally a five piece. Yes, we are normally a five piece, and uh, our, we, we normally have a dobro player, and the dobro player is called Bruno Pickler, Dr. Bruno Pickler, and he is out having a child at the moment. <coughs> uh, so we're giving him parental leave for a couple of weeks, and uh, so he just had a little baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, a girl. He's probably watching this. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, if you're watching uh, Bruno, she looks just like you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so we were in the middle of organising this tour, and uh, Bruno sends us a picture of a baby scan, and we were like, oh no, we we'll have to get onto the venue now. <laughs> So this is, uh, this is dedicated to Bruno's new little baby and, uh, and his lovely wife Doris, and this is uh, called Mummy, You Don't Know My Mind.
Let's go down to Bruno. We did a little video a couple of days ago, and uh, I should have said we edited a video a couple of days ago, and uh, it was one where we were on an Irish tour, the beginning of June, and uh, we went to a lovely place in the middle of the Midlands of Ireland, down around Tullamore, a place called Schlee Blue Mountains, and this is a lovely forest that a friend of ours has built a little hut there, and his name is Brian Gorman, and he's a sculptor of Bog Oak, and we got to record little video in his uh, in his workshop basically in the middle of the, in the middle of this forest and surrounded by wildlife surrounded by these amazing bog oak sculptures and what's he I think he calls it the owl cabin and uh, he's a huge sculpture of an owl on the very top of the door as you walk into it and uh, so anyways we, we were basically editing that the other day when I mean, you're doing a Scottish tour as I should say you tend to have a drink or two and uh, so we edited this beautiful video put it up without audio and there was a lot of sitting around wondering why this audio isn't working. The very first question was like, lovely video, but you're minus the audio, no? <laughs> so we put it back up yesterday, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday, oh, uh, yesterday no, morning, no, that's what it was, yeah. They've all merged into uh, yeah. one gruelling 
day. <laughs> <laughs> but this is uh, this is called Why Bill Jones. This is uh, if the audio still doesn't work, then this is what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs>
much. Uh, this next tune that we're going to play is uh, it's an original written by our fiddle player, Mr. Kieran Towers, over here behind me. It's just getting tuned up. And uh, he wrote it about his dog, well, his girlfriend's dog. Is that right? It's her parents, yeah. Her parents' dog. His girlfriend's parents' dog. His name is Rudy, and the tune is entitled Little Rudy. <laughs> This is another one off our, off our first EP. This is uh, 
This is one by a great songwriter called Sai Khan and uh, this one called Aragon Mill. Enjoying the adverts in between us. <laughs> when we're doing the live stream, they had adverts on between all the uh, tuning sections, you know, so. <laughs>
time blotted out your memory Cause I listen to the breeze Whisper gently to the trees And I'll always cherish what you meant to me
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, folks. We're on our last one, and uh, we have, we've have had an absolutely fabulous time. Uh, when you come to uh, the middle of a tour, you're always worried about the energy dipping, you know what I mean? But when you come to an absolutely fantastic, beautiful venue like this, you have so many nice people organizing, like Craig, all the guys on sound, all the guys from fatpigeon.com. Come on, round of applause. Much appreciated. Again, if you were uh, heading on towards uh, North Wales, Bangor, if you know anyone around that area, a place called Cappy Blue Sky, give them a shout. And they were in the Black Fen Folk Club around Cambridge on Sunday night. Uh, we've had an absolutely fantastic time. I hope you have had too. And uh, we shall hopefully see you again very, very soon. We've got a hot rock pilgrims. And uh, keep an eye. And there's a couple of uh, pamphlets out there, a couple of leaflets out. And uh, there's a great festival that's in a lovely opera house uh, down the road from here. And uh, if you enjoy tonight, you'll definitely enjoy that festival. Um, we won't be there, but uh, we'll be Even there Even if you didn't enjoy it tonight, yeah? you'll enjoy that festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much. It's been great. <laughs> this last one, this last one is uh, nothing to do with bluegrass. It's a Western, Western swing tune. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is called My Window Face of the South. Thank you very, very much.
Thank you very much, folks. We're the Hard Rock Pilgrims. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you.